Welcome to Time to Pray's final day in our 40-day soul detox. Congratulations, you've made it here. Today's focus will be mistrust. Today we will choose together to detox from mistrust. Say it with me. I am a child of God. I am loved by God. And I am the light of the world. Proverbs 3, 5-6 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. All throughout the creation of this 40-day soul detox, I have been challenged in so many different ways. My family has gone through financial uncertainty, a criminal lawsuit, and illness. We have been challenged every single day. I remember one morning I felt like this dark cloud of circumstances would just never go away. But as I write this at the end of this 40 days soul detox, both my wife and I have been offered new jobs. We have both found healing despite the acts of crime against us and are now in good health. Again, the number 40 represents testing and trial that eventually leads to triumph. I know for many of you listening, you have been challenged in new ways. But through it all, my hope is that you would see that God has been faithful through it all. Trusting and waiting on God is one of the hardest things to do in following Him. It doesn't feel good at all, but these are the times where we put our faith over our feelings. God doesn't want to hold anything back from you, but He truly knows what's best, and He is aware of all of our needs. Remember now, nothing's too hard for God, and He loves you more than you could imagine. My biggest encouragement to you today is to praise and worship God when you are battling mistrust. In my own life, I have found that some of the most profound moments of peace came during a time of praising the Lord. Mistrust slowly melts away when we proactively praise God in the midst of our fears, doubts, and anxiety. If mistrust tempts you today, say, I cancel mistrust in Jesus' name. In addition, I encourage you to play some worship music and praise God with all you have. It's time to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to focus on your goodness these past 40 days. I pray that you would show us just how good you've been to us. We pray that we would trust in you with whatever we are facing today. We pray that we would lean not on our own understanding, but on yours, and know that you are a good God who cares for us. We celebrate your faithfulness and choose to trust you today and for the rest of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.